<laughs> Hip hop was definitely organic before the culture vultures came in and got their claws in it. Um, when it was just on the corner with the last poets or the Watts prophets, when it was just in the juke joints, when it was just among us at the barbecue or the picnic, it was fine. But once they put a label on it and packaged it, you know, we had to become the slots that they was designed for us to fill. Mm -hmm. And there ain't too many slots. It's only about 13 of them. Who are the culture vultures? Those corporate lawyers and attorneys and accountants that kind of took hip hop off of its course and um, wanted to turn hip hop into something that, you know, that they could package and sell. Who they are, average subsidiary record company that was tied into the majors that had distribution, global and worldwide distribution. Yeah. So then when the young brothers came up and had business sense mm -hmm. and signed on to some of these major labels, then we started saying, okay, well, we want to kind of do our own thing. And then we started packaging the songs the way we wanted to do them. Mm -hmm. And it became a threat to them, so they had to change the game. In comes gangster rap, gangster rap, gangster rap. Who creates and manufacture these trends? Brothers are sagging, which y'all know is nigga spelled backwards, exactly. right? And what they did was marry the criminal culture in jail onto the street culture and made it part of hip-hop. You see that hip-hop is a continuation at all. I do love hip-hop, but if it's not telling me something I can associate with or even reminisce or rap about with them, I, can, I don't understand the, the method of what they're doing. I mean, even even if the police was saying something because they had a they were saying why they were saying that. Mm -hmm. But the music of today, I, I really don't know how the outcome is going to affect my children. Well, music as a cultural expression has a bi-directional impact on people. Music and images are the language of the unconscious. You can program a mind better with sound than you ever could just with language itself.